everyone, I'm Nicola and um, today's class this is a yoga for weight loss so this is some of the requests that I had. It's not too long a class so please just stick with it. It's only going to be, I'm going to guess, maybe 20-25 minutes. So it's a really good one that you can do a few times a week and it will really help to get your heart rate going a little bit um, and to help lose some weight and just tone up those muscles as well. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. If this is a bit too challenging I will put modifications in but there are, I have got a gentle happy yoga video as well. Um, this one's more just to get our heart rate going a little bit, to get a little bit of a sweat on to help us lose a little bit of weight if that's what we're after. Um, okay, so yeah, let's just get started actually. So we're going to start standing today. There's no um, nice easiness in with breathing techniques. We're just going to jump straight to it. So head up to standing. <clears throat> we're going to start with some sun salutations. If you're going to do one thing of yoga a day, this is what I'd recommend. It's really good for stretching through the whole body and getting our heart rate going a little bit as well. Perfect, so we're going to come to the front of our um, yoga mat, our towel, the carpet, wherever you've got, doesn't matter. We're going to bring our feet underneath the hips and have a, bit, um, a slight bend in the knees as well. Then we're going to inhale, we're going to bring the arms up above the head. We're going to exhale and bring the um, palms to prayer pose. We're going to inhale, we're going to just reach forward, just bend in at the hips, reach the arms forward. And we're going to come to a slight back bend. So we're going to exhale, we're going to bring the palms all the way to the floor or maybe to the shins, wherever we can reach. And just take a second here to just fold over, so just shake the head from side to side, relax into your forward fold. We're going to inhale, we're going to sweep the arms up to the shins, come to a flat back position. So you might need to come up a little bit higher up, tuck the elbows into the body. Then we're going to exhale, we're going to release. We're going to bend the knees, we're going to step the um, feet back now to down dog position. So this is our upside down V, so here we want to draw the shoulders away from the ears, push the weight back into our hips and lengthen through the spine. So to start with, the first one we're going to bend the knees one at a time, just to wake the hamstrings up. Lovely. Then we're going to ground through the feet. We're going to inhale. We're going to lift the right leg off the floor. Doesn't matter how high it goes. Bend that leg, and we're going to bring that knee all the way up to the palms between the feet. It might take a couple of goes to get there. That's okay. So we're going to either do full lunge here, or we can drop that back leg. Doesn't matter. Inhale. Loop the shoulders back and down, looking forward. We're going to untuck the toes. We're going to bring that foot up to the front, back to our forward fold position. We're going to inhale, we're going to come up to flat back, exhale, release, inhale, sweep the arms up to the side, trying to not hit the branches, and exhale, the palms down. We're going to do exactly the same on the other side now, inhale, sweep the arms above the head, exhale to prayer pose, inhale, reach the arms forward, carry into a back bend, exhale, bring the palms down to the mat or to the shins. Inhale, sweep the shi um, arms up the shins to your flat back position. Exhale, release. Then we're going to flat the hands, we're going to step back into a down dog position. Again, walking through the feet here as well if you like. Nice deep breathing. Then just take a moment to find stillness here. Lovely, this time I'm going to lift the left leg up. Bend that knee, bring the feet in between the palms. Either a full lunge or a half lunge, you choose. Lovely, then we're going to bring that foot back up to the front, feet together. Inhale to flat back position. Exhale, release. Inhale, sweep the arms up. And exhale, prayer pose. Perfect, same again. Knees underneath your hips. Tuck your um, tummy muscles in and roll the shoulders forward, back and down. And again, inhale the arms up. Exhale to prayer pose. Inhale, reach the arms forward and go into a back bend. Exhale, bring the palms towards the floor. Release the head over. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, release. Bend in the knees generously, back to your down dog position. And again, walking through the feet, wake up the hamstrings.
and then just taking a moment to find stillness lengthen through the spine shoulders away from the ears lovely inhale lifting the right leg up a little bit higher this time if you can bend that leg bring the foot in between the palms full half lunge here deep breath in exhale bring that foot up towards the front releasing the head over inhale to flat back position exhale release inhale sweeping the arms up bending the knees and exhale to clear pose lovely and again with the left leg now so inhale the arms up exhale release inhale to reach forward and go into a back bend exhale bring the palms towards the mat release the head over inhale to your flat back position exhale release bend in the knees plant in the palms your down dog position and again taking a few breaths here to bend the knees generously one at a time to wake up the hamstrings nice deep breathing throughout then find a moment to find stillness here inhale lift the left leg up a bit higher this time if you can bend in that leg bring it in between the palms into your lunge again you can place that back knee down if you like deep breath here inhale bring the feet together at the front of the mat into your forward fold inhale sweep the arms up flat back position exhale to release inhale sweep the arms up exhale to clear pose and again one more each side inhale the arms up exhale to clear pose inhale to reach forward and then slight back bend slowly exhale bring your palms towards the mat into your forward fold inhale sweep the arms up the shins to your flat back position exhale release bend in the knees generously into your down dog and again bend in the knees one at a time lovely taking a moment to find stillness here nice deep breath lovely inhale the right leg up this time then see a little bit higher again if you can bend in that leg bring it in between your feet full length or half length whatever you prefer nice deep breath here inhale to reach that um, foot back up to the front and exhale release inhale sweep the arms up flat back position exhale release inhale bend in the knees sweeping the arms up above the head and exhale release the fear pose last one on the left side now then inhale bend in the knees arms above the head exhale clear pose inhale reaching the arms forward and then into a back bend exhale release bring your palms to the mat inhale flat back position exhale release Bend in these generally, plant the palms back to your down dog position. Bend in the knees one at a time. Nice deep breathing throughout. And then take it a moment to just plant the feet and find stillness. Nice deep breath here. Inhale, lift the left leg up a little bit higher this time if you can. Bend that leg, bring it in between the feet into your lunge position. Lovely. Bring that foot back up to the front, forward fold. Inhale to flat back position. Exhale, release. Inhale, bend the knees, sticking the arms up above the head. Hitting a few branches on the way. <laughs> Exhale, release. Lovely, well done. And give your body a shake out. Lovely. So that's sun sal that's a full sun salutation. If you want to do one thing a day, then that's what I'd recommend. You can just get the heart rate going a little bit and it'll stretch all through the body. Lovely. So we're going to do a chair pose now. Um, I apologise in advance is all I can say after the sun salutation, but we can do this. So I'll turn to the side so you can see. We're going to have our feet underneath our hips. 
and we're going to bend the knees generously and plant the hips back. It's either going to sit on a chair, but there's not a chair there, I'm sorry to say. So we're going to plant the hips back as far as we can, tuck the, um, the tummy muscles in, and then we're going to reach forward with our hands. So you can see why this is called chair pose, but it's really good for the legs. A nice deep breath here. Again, pull those shoulders away from the ears. Let's even go a little bit further. To distract us, we'll do some wrist rotations. So make a fist, and we're going to rotate through the wrist. You might think, Nicola, that's not distracting. That's ridiculous, <laughs> but it's worth a try. And rotate the other way. Lovely. Then again, reaching forward with the arms. And again, you can go a little bit deeper. There'll be a few more deep breaths here. We're nearly done. Lovely, one more breath. Lovely, and reach up to the sky. And exhale, release. Lovely, well done. We're just going to do some twists now then. So we come to forward fold. So we're going to bring the legs wide and hip width apart. Nice, generous gap between the legs. Hands to the hips, we're going to lean forward. So here this is just a forward fold. And what we're going to do is do some twists. We're going to bring the right hand to the mat and we're going to reach the left hand up to the sky. And then we're going to swap. So swap hands. Lovely. And again. See if we can speed up a little bit now. So twisting through that side body, stretching through the legs. Nice deep breaths. See if you can look up to the arm as you bring it behind you. Lovely, well done. A few more. So you can speed up a little bit more. Lovely. And then just coming into a forward fold. So bring your hands onto the floor. Maybe if they can't reach, you can bring them just below the knees here and just release into a forward fold. So release the head down, give it a shake from side to side. Lovely, well done. Then bend in the knees and rolling up through the spine to standing. Well done, give a little shake out. We're going to take a quick child's pose now and then we'll do some more. So we'll come down into an all fours position. Then I'm going to walk the knees out as wide as the mat. Then I'm going to gently walk the hands forward into child's pose. So release the forehead to the mat. And just take some nice deep breaths here. Lovely, just take it a minute for the body to recover. Lovely, a few more deep breaths here. Lovely, then walking the hands back up and rolling up through the spine. Lovely, so I'm going to apologize for this next section as well in advance, but we're going to do some press ups, we're going to do a little bit of plank as well and then just some knee climbers um, to finish then. So it was a really short video, but it's just a good one um, just to help with some weight loss. So <clears throat> I'm gonna come forward then, and we come into a um, plank position. So we're gonna start with press ups. So you can either do half press ups and have your knees on the ground, or we can do full. It doesn't matter which one you do, there's no medals for which one you choose. So pick in a position, we're gonna do eight press ups. Breathing nice and deep throughout. So we're gonna go down and up. Down and up. Well done. Well done. Four more. Two more. One more. Oh, 
not even that last one was really hard for me either. Lovely, just gonna take a quick rest. We'll come into child's pose. Reaching the hands forward. Lovely, relaxing the forehead on the ground. Lovely, coming back through. We're gonna do some planks now. So diving straight up to our plank position. Lovely, if this is too much again, we can come onto the knees. So walk those um, hands in so the knees are in line with the shoulders. The main thing is that our bum's not sticking up here. There's no point doing a plank like this. Get your bum in line, pull those shoulders away from the ears. And we're gonna hold here. Nice deep breath. Well done, we're gonna take a few twists here if you like. So to do that, we're gonna dip the hip down to the side, come up to center. Dip the other side and center. Lovely. Lovely, a few more. Nice deep breaths. And hold. One more breath. And release, knees back down. Quick child's pose. Lovely, roll back up. Last exercise now you can do it. We're gonna dive straight back forward. And we're gonna do some knee climbers now. So we can take it in turn and bring the knees up to where the hands are. Tucking that knee in as much as you can. And a nice plank position. So again, not having the bum too high, bum in line, tucking the knees in. We'll do 10 more. Five more. Lovely, and release. Down to child's pose. This time we'll walk the knees as wide as the mat and stretch the hands forward. Nice deep breaths here to recover. walking the hands in we're just going to come onto our backs just for a quick shavasana i think we earned it so coming onto your backs use a pillow if you've got one for your head <laughs> lovely and then just relaxing the legs out in front of you and the palms facing up closing the eyes taking a few deep breaths here Allowing the heart rate to recover. Now, you just take a minute to congratulate yourself for doing the video. Well done. Notice how you feel. body to so scan from top to toe slowly scan down the body just noticing how you feel if you notice any areas of tension just try and breathe into that area Out. 
lovely well done so i'll end the video now you can stay here and relax a little bit longer if you like or be ready to come out of it and just gently wriggling the fingers and the toes bending the knees bring them in towards the hips and then rolling onto your side and then gently using your hands to bring you back up or stay on shavasana if you like lovely so i hope you like today's um yoga class put some comments in um, the section below just let me know if you want to do it more intense or less intense and give me any feedback basically but i hope you enjoyed it thank you namaste